song called, John? What's that song? That's a beautiful it's, song. What is that? It's called Ice and Stretch. Ice and Stretch? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what did you do right before you wrote that song that you had to ice and stretch? We actually, we, we play basketball as a band sometimes. And then afterwards, you got to ice and stretch. So, so that's your post-basketball theme song. Yeah, post. <laughs> that's to get you up for stopping to play basketball. No, it, it's like, you know, because when we perform, we do a lot of, we get low. Yeah. So you got to preserve the joints. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you ice and you stretch. No, and the I'm joints with you. Are, uh, I'm with you. Yeah, that's great. So that's why I called it ice and stretch. The more you know. Thank you, John. I love it. Yeah, it's nostalgic. It's great. Well, uh, welcome back, folks. You know, uh, it's no secret I love watching the internet. It's one of my favorite things to do while watching TV. And one of the things I really love is TED Talks, these inspirational educational lectures. People have seen them here. Like, uh, they're on a variety of different subjects, like how your body language shapes who you are, the power of vulnerability, and how schools destroy creativity. And I had something clever to say about that last one, but my parents sent me to school, so I got, I got nothing. <laughs> Unfortunately, not every talker is allowed to TED. And I understand, John, you actually gave a TED Talk, right? Yes, 2012 in Edinburgh, Scotland. You went to Scotland to TED Talk? Yeah, and listen, too. What was it about? It was jazz, New Orleans jazz. Okay, and then obviously Ice and Stretch, obviously, and, yeah. afterwards. Yeah. I've never TED Talked. Oh, you have I've never been asked to talk the TED. You should do it. You should do it. I don't want to now. <laughs> And the fact, the thing is, is that even if you come up with something to TED Talk, not everybody gets to do it in front of the audience. Organizers say they review thousands and thousands of candidates every year before choosing just 60 to 70 speakers. So we here at The Late Show, every so often, like to give a forum to these unwanted TED Talkers <laughs> in our award-pending lecture series, Reject TED. <laughs> You ever feel like your life is going nowhere? You ever think there's got to be more to life than this? Well, there is. Get on my motorcycle and start your new life. Because you don't need anything more than the wind in your hair and your arms wrapped around adventure. <laughs> What's stopping you? Huh? Is it your lame job? Your boyfriend, Brad? This is no dress rehearsal, baby. This is the show. And before the curtain falls, you want to feel something. You get on my motorcycle, I promise you will. You know what else I'm going to promise you? Nothing. <laughs> we might wake up naked next to the Grand Canyon at sunrise. We might fight raccoons for food out of a dumpster. You just don't know. In summation, get on my motorcycle. Bring your sense of adventure, bring your taste for danger, and bring your cash. Because I've been unemployed for a very long time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with a message demanding your attention. Here is a multi-step plan to immediately improve quality of life. View photos of Christian singles in your area chat and flirt with gorgeous European brides. Lose belly fat, but hey, that is just tip of iceberg. Because investment for your business, work from home, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. <laughs> Moreover, the biggest, baddest Harvard scientists have finally increased the male wiener. <laughs> and increased volume make her say wow, wow, wow. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back with Gilbert Godfrey.